Nail abnormalities associated with systemic conditions. Clubbing, convex appearance of the nail that is caused by the thickening of the nail bed soft tissue, commonly associated with vascular pathologies including cirrhosis, COPD, and celiac sprue. Coil nicchia, coil meaning concave, and onychia meaning nail. Thin spoon shaped nails due to abnormal nail matrix function. Although this can occur in normal individuals, it is a sign of severe iron deficiency anemia. Additionally, can be associated with hemochromatosis, trauma, renal disease, hypothyroidism, and systemic lupus. Pitting, punctate depressions on the nail surface due to abnormal keratinization of the nail plate. Problems in the proximal nail matrix manifest as nail pitting since the proximal matrix is responsible for the formation of the dorsal nail plate. Nail pitting can be seen in psoriasis and alopecia areata. Splinter hemorrhages. Small red to black thin longitudinal markings under the nail plate which represent small areas of hemorrhage in the nail bed. Since the capillaries of the nail bed are aligned in a longitudinal fashion, clots in the subungual vessels manifest in this linear configuration. They are most commonly caused by trauma or nail psoriasis and can rarely be associated with systemic illnesses like endocarditis. Subungual hyperkeratosis, increased keratinization keratinized debris under the free edge of the distal nail due to irregular keratinization of the distal nail bed and hyponychium. Causes of this phenomenon include trauma, psoriasis, and onychomycosis. Transverse nail grooves or Bose lines. Transverse indentation in the nails that correspond to a temporary halt of nail matrix proliferation. It can be seen in local trauma, infection, or the setting of significant physiological stressors. Systemic illnesses include severe illness, Raynaud disease, pemphigus, chemotherapy, and high fever. Tracheonychia. Trachea meaning rough and onychia meaning nails, presents as longitudinal rough thick ridges and nail brittleness resulting from defective keratinization of the proximal nail matrix. Dermatological diseases such as psoriasis, lichen planus, atopic dermatitis, and alopecia areata can present with these nail findings. Nail Tech School. The next time you're treating yourself to a relaxing spa visit, take the time to have a look around at the staff. You'll see several specialists, from massage therapists and skin care specialists to talented nail technicians. Nail techs aren't just employed at spas, they work at a variety of locations, including salons, airports, and even cruise ships. It's a fast-growing industry, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Jobs for manicurists and pedicurists are expected to grow by 13% by 2026, which is almost double the average U.S. job growth rate of 7%. What does a nail technician do? There's a lot more to a nail technician than just painting nails. Technicians also need to have skills in safety and sanitation, sales, and customer service. They perform manicures, pedicures, nail applications, cleaning, trimming, and filing nails, polishing or buffing nails, moisturizing hands and feet and providing light massage, Scheduling appointments, customer service, maintaining a sanitary work environment, sharing information on available services, promoting and selling nail and skin care products, 
keeping management informed about product needs. To be successful, you'll need to deliver your nail artistry abilities while honing top-notch interpersonal and customer service skills. Most of your time will be spent interacting with clients in person. As with any job, there are pros and cons to consider. One, it's a growing industry. Training programs are generally affordable and quick to complete. By being personable and offering good service, you have the potential to secure repeat customers and earn more money. You can learn about the industry and eventually use that knowledge to open your own business or continue your education. There are flexible scheduling and work environments. Cons are the muscle strain can develop from sitting most of the day. You may encounter broken skin and be exposed to infections. You'll be near various chemicals. Many of the tools used for manicures and pedicures are sharp. Techs need to use them responsibly to avoid hurting themselves or their clients. Your pay can be influenced by customers and whether your salon does a lot of business. You should try to have a positive attitude. You should take criticism and try to improve. You should surround yourself with supportive people. Become your own marketing person. And keep practicing to improve your skills. If you're looking to become a nail technician, there are plenty of programs to choose from. You must be at least 16 years old, have a high school diploma or GED, complete the application process and pay any appropriate fees, potentially visit the school or have a personal interview with a program representative. They need to complete a state-approved cosmetology or nail technician program, then pass a state exam, usually a written and a practical exam, to become licensed. A small handful of states allow apprenticeships to get started, but this path typically requires more training hours. Most programs take an average of 300 to 600 hours to complete. Program start times and lengths vary, but you can typically complete a a nail tech program between three to nine months, depending on your ability to attend school part-time or full-time. You'll learn about the basics of nail care and design and information on safety and sanitation. Many schools detail their course information online. You can also visit in person, call a program representative, or communicate online to get more clarity on which program to choose. At school, you will learn manicures, pedicures, nail art and design, tips, sculptures, wraps, gels, calf and foot massage, safety and sanitation. Areas of study include anatomy and disorders, chemicals and products, hygiene, public health, sterilization and disinfection, massage theory, and nail technology. They also learn about salesmanship, state laws, and advanced skills such as sculptures, overlays, and nail art. After completing the program, students need to complete a certain number of hands-on training hours. Then graduates will take a state licensing exam. Once students pass the and earn their nail tech license, they can begin practicing professionally.